Hey, Redeeming Life, Pastor Brian here. God is on the move, which means I have an announcement for you that is both very exciting and a little sad. And before I go there, I just want to remind us that in the book of Acts, we see that this church was like this tight-knit family, and they had all things in common, and they were growing together and, and loving one another, but they also had a commission from God, a commission to go into the world and make disciples of all nations. And so God would call them to gather and grow and scatter and go. And so we see them having these goodbyes. And it, it might seem from time to time like it was this, this permanent goodbye. Oh, we're never going to see these people as they follow God's will into other places to take the gospel there. But those are temporary. See, we're a family in the kingdom of God, and we're going to be together in eternity. So these are just a, a real small, short goodbye for the sake of the gospel. They are gospel goodbyes. Well, church, we have a gospel goodbye coming. Pastor Brett and Nicole are faithfully answering God's call to move back to the Midwest. Now, trust me, when I heard this, I said, no way, God, what are you, how can this be? What are you doing? I didn't get it, and I was frustrated with it, and I've been processing through that, but I've just been watching God put piece after piece after piece after piece in place that is affirming that indeed He is calling them. And they are faithfully saying, yes, God, we will go. And so here's what we want to do. On December 30th, in our service, we're going to lay hands on them, we're going to pray for them, and we're going to send them off on a sabbatical, a Sabbath season for a month, so that they can rest, so they can pray, so they can prepare for the next ministry that's coming. They're, they're preparing into that work, whatever that might be, and abiding in Christ. So we're going to ask that you be praying for them in that season uh, during this sabbatical, this, this Sabbath season headed into the next ministry chapter in their calling. And then we're going to have a gospel goodbye party for them. We want to send them off well. So on February 3rd after church from 1 to 4 or however long it goes into the night, we want to get together. We're going to have food available and treats and goodies and we're just going to share stories and swap uh, you know, all these fun memories and, and just say our goodbyes. You know, put an arm around them and and pray for them and hug them and just really try to send them off with a good gospel goodbye party. We're going to open the doors for anybody who wants to come, any of their friends, any of the people they've encountered who would like to come and, and participate in sending them off well, they're invited. Just a big open house to send the Riceleys into the next chapter of their ministry. So please put that on your calendar, February 3rd from 1 to whenever. Um, come and connect with the Riceleys to say your goodbyes. Now, all of this might sound very hard, but let me share some exciting things that God is doing. He's not leaving this ministry void of missionaries. He's sending not one, but two self-supported part-time missionaries to join us in this ministry to help us in this mission field. One you know, one you'll get to know. Zach Harris and Sarah Powers. Let me tell you a little bit about what God is doing with both of them and how you can pray for them and even support them. So first let's start with Zach. Zach Harris has a day job with an organization called Healing Nations. And in that organization, he is the operations director for a nationwide organization. He has been a project coordinator with this organization, and now he does all this other logistical work. And that organization's purpose is to connect churches in the United States with churches in the mission field so they can take short-term mission trips, they can advance the gospel around the globe. And he has helped many, many churches do that, and he's helping that organization to do that. And yet he lives in this mission field where there are so few Christians, and he's come to me and said, I'd like to serve in some way on the receiving end of that, to help with these mission teams, to help with evangelism, and even to help our church to go on mission and to be ambassadors throughout the world, not just here at home, but abroad and everywhere we might go. And so he's come and said, hey, I want to give my time to some of that. Now what we need to do is we need to, we need to make sure that his family can eat and he's supported, so he is raising support, just like Pastor Brett did, to help us in this mission field, to give us one or two days per week, and maybe some more time when the mission teams are here. So hopefully our mission teams will support him, because he's going to be working closely with them. Hopefully God will bring many resources so that we can have that missionary working in the mission field with his expertise and skill that God has blessed him with. And then Sarah Powers. This is a very exciting time for us, church, because over the last couple years, I've come to realize that there are not a lot of roles for women to serve in church planting within our tribe. You know, you can be a church planter, you can be a church planter's wife, or you can go and do things with disaster relief and whatnot, but there's not a, a role for a missionary woman to pack up, to move to a new place, and to give her life over to mission work. Now, you can do that with the IMB, and you can do that overseas, but what do we do here in the United States? And we live in a mission field, a serious mission field, and so we have created a way for women to serve in the mission field. 
We've started a fund. It's called the 16-1 Support Fund after Romans 16-1, where Phoebe, a woman, is a servant to the church. And Sarah Powers is going to be our first lady missionary. Now, she's not coming to be a church planter or a lead pastor, an elder, something like that. She's coming to do mission work and to help us in any way that that mission work entails. And so we are excited to have her. Now, again, she's going to be raising support, just like a missionary would. Her and her family are moving here. And we get the whole family, too, which is such a blessing. We get the kids, we get Adam, we get the whole deal. God is bringing another family, and get this, they're from Nebraska. So we've got one Nebraskan who's been with us for a while, and now he's going, and we're making a swap, and we're getting another Nebraskan. So God is clearly doing a remarkable work. So I just want to encourage you to consider uh, how you can be praying for Brett and Nicole as they go, and Zach and Tracy, and, and Adam and Sarah here, and be praying about how you can support those ministries and be a part of a gospel goodbye so that we can be a part of the work that God is doing throughout the world.